And uh, first question will be Kevin. Yeah, Rob, you know, uh, Al Durham's been a senior captain, co-captain the last two years. And what ways has he kind of demonstrated leadership in your mind uh, during that time? Uh, it's been really big just since I first got here. Even off the court, um, just being a friend, uh, leader, this guy you can just go to with anything to really t talk talk about. So um, just him leaving has been, I mean, the big thing really is just a Purdue game with him. I know he hasn't won. So uh, uh, he's really been on everybody just to stay locked in no matter what's happened in the past and uh, do everything we can to win Saturday. Dustin. Rob, just, I guess, speaking of Saturday, I mean, where, um, I guess, just give us a sense of, of the temperature of the room right now. I mean, where, what is it, you know, basically the um, spirit like for this group? You guys have obviously dropped a bunch and, and it's put you guys in a tough position when it comes to, you know, having a postseason. Uh, how is just, you know, the spirit of this group right now? Uh, it's still high. Um, the energy is high. I feel like it really comes from the coaches and uh, the leaders on the team just to, I mean, they we've been in this position before, so um, you know, really just have to lock in and stay stay together, really, because um, I mean, with the media and everybody from the outside world, you you know that can uh, really wear on people. So we've just been locked in and I'm um, staying together, really. Mike. Hey, Rob, you had a nice game on Tuesday, first big scoring game in a while. Who who on the team really helped you kind of get through that little scoring slump, and what were the keys in your mind that to uh, Get, get some baskets? Uh, I will say everybody, really. Um, I mean, it starts with the coaches, even all the way down to the managers, um, even them in practice. So uh, really, we know with um, our mind out, I had to be a little bit more aggressive. And um, a lot of guys, uh, the shots weren't falling. So I feel like I just had to step up and make shots. Thanks. Tom. Rob, obviously, you're a Lafayette kid. So. Uh, this, this rivalry probably means more to you than anyone. And how difficult has it been for you just uh, when you're around friends and home and you're in those Purdue guys around you? Have you had to try to do your best to keep your ears closed a little bit? Uh, I mean, of course. I mean, they beat me, what, five times? So, uh, I mean, this is really huge for me. Just just growing up a Lafayette kid, like you said, uh, just wanting to uh, just have bragging rights, really. Um, I'm, I'm friends with some of the guys on the team. And just the guys back, just people back home, really. Um, so I'm really looking forward to Saturday. Dustin. Rob, well, I wanted to ask another question about Al, actually. Um, didn't know until last night that he's got his own clothing line. Uh, had no idea about that. Um, just tell me everything you know. What's what, what does it take for him to pull that off, number one? Number two, what can you tell me about just his – his sense of style and, and, you know, do you own any of his clothes? And what are they cool? I guess. Oh yeah, I do. I have a sweatshirt and then like two shirts. So, I mean, just, uh, just him, it's really his personality and just how he is off the court. He, um, I mean, he can get along with anybody and I can see him, even if he uh, stops playing basketball after he's done getting the clothes, I think he'll be very successful just from his work ethic. And, um, just pretty much his persona, how he gets along with everybody. And, uh, he's just a people person. So, um, I mean, his clothing line, it's really nice. I mean, you guys should get something too, honestly, from it. But uh, yeah, it's really it's rare, so it's pretty nice. Alex. Rob, confidence has been a thing that, you know, that Archie's talked a lot about this season. It seems like, just for you, just observing, it seems like sometimes it comes and goes with you. How, how do you think, like, going forward, you can kind of maybe – be more of the player that we saw last game uh, consistently. Is there anything that you can point to that that you look at and say, I got to do this more consistently? Um, really with me, I feel like it, it really comes and goes like in the times of the game. I mean, sometimes when we need a basket, I should I feel like I should be more aggressive or um, really just to feel the game. Like once I see our team's not going well, I think I should be more aggressive and uh, just try to make a big shot. So I feel like the team, they really lean on me in that way. and. Uh, just the leadership aspect, really. Um, just knowing, really, the feel of the game, I feel like. Alec. Hey, Rob. Uh, obviously, Christian Landers been playing uh, much more confident as, as of late. Can you just talk a, a little bit about his growth, not only on and off the court, but really how uh, when he plays alongside you, how the offense 
tends to kind of adjust and, and play that way. Yeah, I mean, really, I feel like with him, it's we've seen it through practice and everything. Um, really, these last couple of weeks of practice, he's been doing a lot of good things uh, on and off the court. I feel like it's um, just his maturity level has really grown, and um, I feel like the last couple of games we have been playing together, I feel like it's been it's been working pretty well. We haven't really done it in the past, but uh, I feel like I'm comfortable playing the two and him running the running the show. So I feel like just as he gets more time and more experience, he's going to get a lot better. Tyler. Rob, in the um, radio show last night, coach said that you guys have mostly been doing like 3v3 and 4v4 during practice. Um, I guess like kind of expanding on that, what have you guys been able to do with a limited number of people? And, and does that kind of make it more difficult to get into a rhythm? Um, I would say it, uh, it makes us a little more comfortable in the rhythm. But I mean, we've done in the past, even with all the guys uh, when they were healthy. So. I don't think just having a limited amount of people is limited to do that much. Kevin. Rob, it seemed like in the Michigan State game, a little more attacking the basket, driving to the basket. How much of that was predicated on maybe just the matchup of the game or how much do you think you kind of build upon that, you know, heading here uh, down the stretch and into the postseason? Oh, yeah, it was huge. Um, like I said in the past, I feel like me, um, attacking the basket opens up a lot of things for for other guys, even um, like uh, with Lil, we have when we have shooters on the outside, and just even for the big guys, I can dish it off once I get to the rim. So, uh, I feel like me just getting down downhill really is a big thing. Mike Schumann. Rob, maybe an extension of that. Purdue likes to pressure the ball. They they play you guys similarly almost every time with packing the paint, post doubles. I mean, what? in your impression is going to be the key offensively to for you guys to to beat what they've been doing to you guys? Uh, really, I feel like it comes with the guards. We have to really penetrate the paint, even try to draw fouls on um, Big Travion. So uh, just attacking off ball screens and um, just creating for others. Last question, Tom. Rob, uh, Purdue's guards uh, are very talented and they're they all play sort of different ways. Can you kind of give me a quick little rundown on some of those guys and, and what the biggest challenges are for you, both offensively and defensively against them? Um, I'll start with uh, Isaiah. I mean, I know he picks up full court and uh, he's really he's really a good shooter. So I'm really just trying to uh, drive him off the line and um, really just uh, don't play with the ball with him because we know he's a good defender. And uh, the same with Eric Hunter. We know he picks up full court. He's a really good defender. and. Um, he really runs their team, uh, gets the offense set, and he can make open shots. And then uh, Stefanovic, um, we know he's uh, their best shooter by far, and um, really just run him off the line. And um, uh, yeah, just be really, just pretty get into him pretty much. And then Newman and Ivy, the two freshmen, they're really talented. You know, Ivy's really aggressive. Um, like it's changed since the last time we've played, and uh, they really run more offense through him. So really packing the paint with him and uh, just try to keep him in front of us. And then Newman, um, he's a really good shooter. He can create for others, too. Uh, he can score from all three levels. All right, guys, thank you. And uh, we'll hopefully see some of you tomorrow.